Uh, good evening, everybody. It's Friday night. What else could you be doing that's better than being here with the great group of people that I am about to reveal to you? But before I do that, there's a few things we need to go through. Yes, now brace yourself. If you're watching this on Facebook, share and like it. If you're watching it on YouTube, share, subscribe. Make sure the notification bell is pressed, please, because our best pals at YouTube sometimes unsubscribe people. So just keep an eye out for that, please. You can find all my other social uh, media links down below. You can follow me on all those different platforms. Um, if you like what you're saying during the show, uh, then give it a thumbs up. That's it, a thumbs up. Now I'm watching you lot. You better give thumbs up, as many thumbs up. Because you see, the thumbs up, it helps the algorithms, I'm told. So the algorithm is going to get you. Never mind the rhythm is going to get you. The algorithm is going to get you. And then, of course, uh, last but not least, uh, if you want to support us in any way at all, go to altnewsmedia.net slash donate and drop a pound in the hat. You can do that. Come on, what else are you going to do? Um, and finally, uh, super chats are enabled on this stream. So if you want to get your comments paid attention to in particular, uh, as it says at the bottom of the screen, get your message noticed with a super chat. But uh, before I introduce my first guest, I just want to give a shout out um, to one of our, our, our uh, great uh, friends in the stream, Ozzy in Belfast. He says, give my dad a shout out. So Ozzy's dad, how you doing? Hope, you're, uh, hope this finds you well. Okay, so I think, uh, folks, we are almost ready to go so yeah let's start off then right so um first of all can i bring to the stream all the way all the way across the pond he's uh flying supersonic from the uh, us of a and that is uh let me introduce my good friend my longtime friend uh patrick van roy patty you're welcome to the stream bring him up Hi, good evening patty. everybody welcome from Pennsylvania. Out here yeah. in the United United States of Burden, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good to see you, Patty. Good to see. You. Good seeing everybody. Hope everybody's doing well and enjoying our wonderful Friday COVID night committee meeting or whatever we want to call it tonight. We're gonna right have here. a rock, Patty. We're gonna have a rock and roll hour. That's what we're gonna have. There you there's go. No rules. Well, there's a couple of topics that I, I want to talk about. One, one in particular, I could not possibly resist that. I'm really interested in your views on. And uh, but as I say, uh, we have uh, Patty joining us. Then, la uh, then we have, uh, of course, uh, a man of the people. He's my producer. He's made a huge contribution to everything. Jed, you're welcome to the stream as well. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Patty. Good evening, David, and welcome to the stream. Yeah. So you've got three of us. We should be joined by a fourth, hopefully, uh -huh. the missing member. A mystery guest. A uh, mystery not, guest. We, yeah, mystery guest. Uh, we're not saying who he is. Um, he, he's not. I tell you. I tell you where he's not coming from. Sixteen hundred Pennsylvania Avenue, Patty. He's not going to be. That, there, nobody's there. home there. <laughs> nobody's uh, home there. He, he ain't that the truth. <laughs> well, actually, Patty, that that actually tees it up really nicely. Actually, I want. I wanted to play. Hi, by the way. Hi, Chris, John, uh, Graham, all you guys joining. Um, Patty, I, I want, uh, there's so many things I could have played you, but I just wanted to play this particular one because it, it, it amuses me and it saddens me in equal measure. So, Jed, can we just play this little short video to the stream, please? Way to get something Maybe done, on. if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway. I'm, we're going to get a lot done, and if we have to, if there's complete lockdown and chaos as a consequence of the filibuster, then we'll have to go beyond what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. Oh, sing me, Miss Kim. Well, Patty, the the, the most. Um, to yeah, that's enough. The most powerful man in the world, 
What a what an embarrassment! Thoughts? It, it, it's absolutely frightening. Uh, you know, it, it, the man is not capable. He's really not. I mean, he's got airs. He has his moments, and I mean, the man's been doing you know doing politics for as long as you know I've been alive. But uh, the the thing is, is like he is just a, he's a placeholder, and it really makes his, it really is starting to be. I mean, it's one thing making a joke about it. All right. He's a little bit doddering this and that and there, but this is not little doddering anymore. And the fact that they, for the first time in history, it's no longer every administration was the Obama administration. It was the Bush administration. It was the Trump administration. This is the very first time in American history. It's the Biden Harris administration <coughs> officially. What does that mean? We didn't elect no co-president. I want to know what that title change actually means. This group is great for slipping stuff in and then say, oh, well, you know, this is, you know, this is the way it is. But what are you basing this on? Because, you know, they're doing a lot of sleight of hand. They're being sued by, uh, by uh, you know, 14 attorney generals for over the gas, uh, uh, the pipeline stuff. They're being sued by another uh, uh, 14 or 15 over the, the COVID restrictions. And then, then everybody wants to sue, uh, you know, everybody's trying to get the teachers to go back to work. And there are, this is, a, you know, you got to watch with these people. And it's like, when does Harris, when does Biden have his, his, Whatever, and uh, you know, and you know, Miss Harris take take over. I mean, why is she making uh, phone calls to um, to head, different heads of state? I'm sorry, there are a lot of things going on with this group that is you know not being discussed and not being pursued. We have the, you know this, we have no press, and I'm going to get into a whole rant about that in a little bit. But just right now, well, just just leaving go that the man's elevator does not go all the way up. He does. It stops. He forgets where he's at. And this man is in charge of, like you said, even the Democrats want to take the nuclear codes away from him. That was one of the first things that, uh, uh, you know, a group in the, the, the House of Representatives tried to do is take the nuclear codes away from him. They wanted a, co a co button pusher. Right. Jeff, what, 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 what was your thoughts on uh, on cringe Biden's press conference? Just before I, I, I give you my comments, I'll just let you know, Ed is in the green room waiting to come on. Oh, David. oh Brett, Brett, sorry, Brett, Brett, I can't see. Uh, Brett, can we bring Ed into the stream? Yeah, I'll, I'll bring Ed in now. Uh, okay. Good evening, Ed. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Hello, David, Paddy, Hi, Jeff. Ed. You're, you're, bring you're, Ed. How are you? How are you? See, well. seeing, pa seeing Paddy was coming on, I thought I'd, I'd just, for my favourite state, just to wind wind uh don't mess with texas <laughs> god bless i was gonna texas. wear it or actually I, I, maybe that one um but yeah, yeah maybe yeah. not <laughs> yeah yeah well it's it, 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 it's it, I, did did you see um uh the uh the little video clip there ed we were playing of uh, i did of mr biden yeah yeah so i was just gonna say to jed jed i'll just ask you i just finished what i was saying jed what was your view on on the embarrassment that is the Biden presser from yesterday. It's frightening that he is the leader of the free world with a big fat thumb on hundreds and hundreds of nuclear weapons. It is terrifying. The man should be in an old folks home. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Ed, what was your thoughts? Yeah, it's not pleasant to watch, is it? I mean, I, I watch it and I feel nothing but actually sorry for the guy. I can't I can't see why his loved ones and his family would actually put him in, in that position. Um it's just it's just difficult to watch <laughs> in, in reality. And uh not not pleasant at all. And then when he said he's gonna run again in, in 2024, I mean that 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 would take him to 86, you know, years of age by, by the time he came to the end of that term. So yeah. Um yeah. but I think the, the the kind of thing what it did was expose, I suppose, yet again the media and this. Um, you know, he had every journalist picture, the order who are gonna ask the questions, the questions all scripted out for him with answer cards and um, you know, you think of those Trump press conferences where he just strode out in front of everybody, the baying mob, and uh, just took it, you know, on the fly. He knew everyone's name. You know, it really, for me, highlighted the contrast between the 
abilities of, of the two individuals um you know so yeah but it was a sorry sight i mean i'll be honest it was a pretty whether so, you liked whether sight. you liked what he was whether you liked what he was saying or not trump spoke directly to the press and to the people every day he did not miss a single day that he did not take a question from the press or that he did not talk directly to uh, to the people now a lot of people wanted to shut him up but you knew what he was saying. Nobody knows what's going through Joe's head. Nobody wants to know what's going through Joe's head because from one minute to the next, it's not necessarily the topic supposed to be on. I don't think Joe knows what's going through his head to be totally honest with you. No, no, no. no, I, oh, yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I, I, <laughs> I like that, Ed. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have to say, I mean, I, I watched the whole thing and it was just, it was embarrassing because this, it's a humiliation for the United States, as far as I can see, a, a proud nation represented by a, a man with obvious cognitive decline, confusion. And, um, you know, some, someone said to me, how long, you know, how long before, uh, how, you mentioned it, uh, Patty, how long before Harris takes over? I think she's already taken over. I think this is the Harris administration. Well, it would be, it, we're being run by committee right now. We're, we're being run by committee. There's no way that he's calling the shots. But not all. Now, he's, now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure he's calling. So, I'm, the man's the president. The man is due. He earned his keep. He ran for it at least 20 times. He finally got the, <laughs> they finally got the brass ring. He's the president. He's making some of these calls on his own. But then they're telling him how to do it. So some of these calls. Are, but the thing is, is we're being governed by committee right now. And, you know, yep. like I said, they gave him that stack of 162 special orders. Said, okay, here's this undoes everything that they did, that we got accomplished in the last, uh, that they they, they uh, accomplished in the last four years. We're getting things right back to where they are. Within the first 60 days, what do we got? We're bombing in the Middle East. Gasoline prices are up $2 a gallon. Yeah. The, the, what do you call it? Four million people were put out of job, day uh, out of work. Day one, teachers are still refusing to go go to work, and now we got crazy. We got uh, we got uh, you know we got crazy people running around shooting people, and they're 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 trying to start a race war before they even know who the shooter is. This is you know this is you know they're letting the the, the lunatics long ago took over the the, the asylum, and <laughs> you know and what the, the worst part is. All right, come on, come on, man. Come on. All right, now here you go. <laughs> on, your, job, your job is the press. Your job, you're standing in front of the most powerful man in, in the world. And you say to him, why are you not giving us transparency? And his answer is, well, when we get it all together, then we'll give you transparency. And you go, okay. Yeah, well, see, that, that, that's it, Ed. For me, I couldn't work out which was the most embarrassing, Biden or the press pack. The press. Well, you're, you're clear on that. Ed, what do you think? Yeah, I think I think the press was disgraceful. Um, you know, he's not had a press conference for two months and it was all softball stuff, wasn't it? And I think if I'm, I'm right, uh, Paddy, aren't I? They excluded Fox and somebody else because, you know, he, he just obviously wasn't able to take any, any more tricky questions. But there was no mention of the pandemic. Uh, it was very soft on the border when, you know, he gave, you know, pretty poor and weak answers um, yeah, but we've said this for so long now. The media is the poison, and and the media is the root of nearly all the problems we have at the moment. All the division, all the unrest. Well, it's all. I lay ninety nine percent of it at the door of the media. Well, you know? I did. I did a video. I did a short. Uh, a short, like you know, like David does. I did a short earlier in the week on on the uh, uh, you know on the press. What I'm outraged about it's the press. We've got twenty thousand uh, unaccompanied minors shoved into uh the facilities that hold that only hold five thousand uh kids these kids don't speak english we have no idea they have no identification they have phone numbers call this person he's a relative now the coyotes are being paid money for these kids to, to, to deliver them here they're getting dropped off to people we don't know where the kids came from where they're being gone to most of them are a lot of them are being sold in, in, into sex sl slavery and human trafficking. This is a human trafficking problem. And there's a lot of money being made and nobody's reporting on it. Why isn't uh, and nobody's reporting on the conditions? I don't care if you're a Biden supporter. I don't care if you're a Trump supporter. You've got over 20,000 
12 to 15 year old children that don't speak English, have no family members. Nobody knows who they are, where they are, or what conditions they're living in. And nobody's, and they're not letting us see what's going on. Excuse me. I want to know who's getting paid off because there's a lot of money being pushed around. And these kids are, uh, these kids are suffering. And I want to know, fine. You're going to open up the borders. You want to flood us with illegals. That's fine. You want to open the borders. We have no borders. That's fine. But you've got children that are sitting in conditions that we, if it was anywhere else in the world, we would have the UN and every troop that we had patting at the door calling the Uyghurs are not, the Uyghurs are being treated better than these children are being treated. And where's our press? Where's Fox? Where's MSNBC? Where's CNN? Why aren't they parking their butts outside these camps and screaming and hollering? I want to know. They're not doing their job. We have no fourth estate. We need people like us because the people who are supposed to be watching out for us don't give a rat's ass. All they care about is who, who you know, is who their po political favor they can get from. You know, enough of the politics. You know, fine. You want to play your politics? Play your politics. But you're dealing with, you, you know, this is children. These are little kids. You know, this is inhumane. This is America. This is not supposed to happen. Yeah, I think, Sorry. you know, there, 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 there's so many questions about it, um, you know, guys. The whole, the whole, oh, hi, by the way. Hello, Linda. Linda, nice to see you on the stream. It's always good to see you. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so many things we could talk about. I mean, ultimately, though, for me, I, I kind of feel that I don't think, uh, let's do a quick round table in this one. Does anybody think on this panel that Joe Biden will be president in by the midterms in 2022 jed start with you absolutely not no way on this god's earth i'll be surprised if he makes it to the end of the year patty he has to make it to the net to the the first uh the midterm elections he has no they have no choice they can't substitute uh kamala harris in before the next election because as it is now they're afraid that they're going to lose uh 30 to 40 uh, seats uh, you know in every direction anyway if they put kamala harris in before the election they'll definitely there'll be a there'll be such a rush uh, uh an out vote they won't be able to steal enough votes to do it ed yeah i agree with patty i think if he dropped dead tomorrow they wouldn't tell us till mm -hmm. after those midterms because kamala was she polled at 1% in the primary. She's deeply unpopular, even with Democrats. I mean, she was destroyed, if you remember, in those primaries by uh, Tulsi Gabbard, amongst amongst others. So the, it would be an absolute disaster for them because Kamala is just so unpopular. So I think he will be there for another, well, t as, as Paddy says, till till the midterms, 2022. Then who knows? Um, who knows? He may, he may just find his appearances get less and less and less. No, yeah. after, after the midterm, something will happen. Hey, I'm sorry, David. So how can his appearances get less, Ed? He's <laughs> never he, he's only done one press conference and he's been there three months. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, I'll tell you what though, this I think it was was it the Sky or the BBC coverage? And uh, they said he rushed off from the press conference so he could just carry on with getting on with the job, not standing in front of an audience. <laughs> unbelievable. You know, know. Was know, cover for him. It was unbelievable. I know. I mean, I mean they are desperately covering. I think, um, you know, Ed and Paddy, I, I, I do agree with your analysis that they, they have to get him to 22, to, to, to midterms in 22. But, but I also agree with Jed. I don't know that his health is actually going to, I'm not sure that his health will get him there because he's, I mean, but, I mean, let's be honest, to, to be at that 70, he's 78, isn't he? 78, uh, coming into a high pressure job, even if he doesn't know what's going on, it still has an impact on per, person with, with what appears to be, you know, early on stage um, dementia or, or, or Alzheimer's, you know. So, so I, I have my sympathies with for Biden. But going into that position, he knew what he was doing. Let's be honest, you know, um, OK, he was being manipulated. And I think the pressures on him are telling he's falling apart by the, uh, the way. I mean, a couple of gems came out of that press conference. He did claim to have been in the, uh, in the Senate for, what, 120 years? He came <laughs> up, he, he, which was entered. The only honest thing he said. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So I, mean, I reckon that makes him about 160. So he's looking really well for a guy of that age. Uh, and then some of the answers he gave. I mean, he claimed, for example, that no country in the world was rolling out <coughs> vaccines uh, per capita faster than the U.S. That's wrong. Patently 
untrue, because, not that I approve of it often particularly, but the UK, is, is our, and I think other countries as well. But, but where are the fact checkers, David? Everybody but the where EU, the they're just checkers? stealing everybody's. Ed, Ed, makes, make the, Ed makes a really good point. Where's the fact checkers? They if, disappear, don't they? They disappear. I mean, oh, yeah, it's incredible. Where have they gone, Paddy? Where's the fact checker? What, what facts? What <laughs> well, the, where, where, where's the Russian collusion? I, I, I'm going with Trump for the first Russian to be found. Where's the Russians at? <laughs> but every still, time they're Trump still called. convicted, they're I, still I convicted mean. Trump. If he blames <laughs> Trump for one more day, ah, it's Trump blew up the border. Yeah, he you took that, he yeah. dismay. Yeah. Now here's my question. All right, you're a reporter. Trump dismantled. Everything we had, we have to re we have to reestablish everything that was dismantled. That's why there's chaos. Oh, okay, Mr. President. So what you're saying is your plan is to just keep importing a hundred thousand children a month, and the the only problem is that your ability to to you know handle that flow of amount of children was dis uh, you know dissembled by by Trump. So, but your plan is a hundred thousand children a month, correct? That's the follow up question. Where's the follow up questions? Yeah, well, you know, no, we, but pa Paddy, there's no follow up questions. There's no fact checks. This is a compliant media trying their best no, to protect their man. But, it's not compliant, it's complicit. No. These people lied for four years. We had the FBI and the, the, the CIA and all these other maniacs, but it's disinformation. disinformation. Now, we, Show me one conviction. They investigated Donald Trump for five years. They didn't find one unpaid parking lot. And you could still, I still fight with people every day that they're going to come and arrest them. For what? But yet, but that's what the news printed for five, for five years. They're still talking about it now. They're, you know, you know, for five years, they're still talking about Trump. I want to know what's happening with Hunter's laptop. The FBI's had that laptop now for two years. Yeah, he, got, he was paying off money with the Chinese. What happened to that connection? Well, who it, just it, who just ate our lunch while the little crazy man in North Korea shot missiles at Japan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the little crazy man in North Korea now realizes that the U.S. is a paper tiger. That's why. That's why it happened. But well, Biden's um, administration can't even get hold of him. <laughs> There's not uh, enough to yeah, call no, him. He ain't answering the phone. <laughs> he would answer. He would, yeah, he would. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's, it's comical and, and yet tragic in equal measure. It's all yeah. I can say. Uh, but uh, but anyway, that's okay. That's enough. That's enough. We're going to jump back this side of the phone.